All right, time for a fun one. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get input from your users. Uh, plugins offer some really great ways to get user input. And so if you do this thing right, you can actually end up building some very pleasant user experiences. Let's take a look at the code. And first of all, please copy and paste this whole plugin code to the console. And you can already go ahead and run the plugin if you like. And in general, I encourage you to take these code samples, put them over into the console, and then while I explain the different um, kinds of steps of the code here, you can always double check with just running the, the plugin yourself and kind of seeing what I'm talking about. All right, uh, control A, control C, alt tap over, right click, label that thing and use it, uh, label it user input. Then uh, control A, control V, save that thing. Then just run it. All right, we can see here multiple things. Um, wait, what? All right, whatever. Um, yep, cool. Yep. All right, just confirmation. All right, all right, all right. Wow, that was quite a bit. Um, let's <laughs> let's let's go through the code. Now the first thing that you will notice is the message box. This is just a cool way to let users know about some information that you want them to see. I usually prefer to actually using echo or feedback. Um, in this case, you know, the message box can be a bit, you know, much up in their face, but it might be a good way um, to let users know if a longer process was successfully finished. Um, notice, by the way, how I specify two things here. First, the title of the message box and then also the actual content, right? All right, on to the next user-facing piece of this plugin, um, a confirm. This is a really fun one because it essentially lets you, um, lets users confirm or not confirm something. And the way that I brilliantly designed this example, you can already see which way this can be useful. So what we see here is that based on the confirmation result, we can either delete a specified executor or not. So confirmations are great because they actually let you um, sort of get user approval or not approval, you know, whatever. And you can react to that. So as we can see here um, is this if else construct, which allows us to deal with different conditions and um, to see more about how you can write these conditions, how you can build these conditions, um, just see the video properly called conditional execution. We'll dive more into detail on that in that video. All right, so yes, I'm, you know, it's not that hard to understand. I don't think um, we essentially just sort of run this up here and then, um, you know, if it's positive, we'll nuke it. And if it's not, we will actually sort of hold off. So also pretty simple, I want to say. Um, again, we have the title here and then the um, body or the, the main text of this confirmation window down here. All right, lastly, let's take a look at text input. And we already saw that quite a bit, right? I mean, that's nothing new to us here. But what I want to do instead with this part is I want to jump over to the documentation with you because there's one thing that's really interesting about it. Um, GMA.textInput over here, it actually has these square brackets around like the second parameter. What does that mean? Um, it actually means that you don't have to include the second parameter when you use this function, it's optional. Um, so in general, this old text here, that's something that's optional. We wouldn't even have to use it. Let me just make a case though for always including a default or, or like an existing value in your um, GMA.text input call. So in general, what I find is that I always try to set up um, smart default values for whatever is um, you know being asked of the user. So in this case, we can see here that it's suggesting an executor um, or sort of an a, a effect. And what's cool about that is that, um, you know, if you design this right, then the users of your plugins, they can essentially just hit please, 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 please on all the stuff that they just want to use the default values in. So um, it makes it a lot faster to use your plugin uh, and a lot more elegant. And um, 
that's essentially all for user input. It's it's not adding that much more. I guess the confirmation is, is pretty great. Um, the message box is something I hardly ever use, but in general, um, you know, if you do this thing right, then you will um, create plugins that feel a lot more high quality. And um, I think that's really cool. So you can really sort of give your plugins this final touch, um, if you will, um, if you design this user input right. And also one last thing, you can find even more uh, sort of user facing feedback mechanisms in this progress bar. I just don't ever use it. But in general, if you're curious about that, you can always um, check back with the example plugin where um, they give you an example on how to use that.